Hey everyone, it's Thomas here. Today I'm going to explain a pretty advanced concept. We're going to be using the ultrasonic sensor to power the motor. So the ultrasonic sensor is going to read in a distance value. Um, so if it is a certain distance away from the wall, that distance will, be the, will then be driving the power for the motors for your robot. So if you haven't used the ultrasonic sensor before, or really understand uh, motor basics, I would review my videos. Um, but if you guys do excel in those areas, this might be something worth learning. And it's definitely a really cool exercise. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we usually start on this common palette, but today we're gonna upgrade to the complete palette so we can do some more advanced um, actions. So what we're first gonna do is we're gonna have a loop. Um, and within that loop, the first thing that we want to do is read in ultra, ultrasonic data. So we're going to use the ultrasonic sensor and we're going to put it in centimeters for today. And we're going to put this to 50. That was before. Um, so now we're going to be running motors with that output. So the output for the sensor, which is the distance, is going to be the input for the motor, which is the power. So we're going to click this drop down menu here on the left of the icon. And there are a lot of different complicated inputs here, but the only one that we're going to be worrying about today is the power, which we've used before. So we're going to take the output of the ultrasonic ultra sensor, plug it into the power. So whatever distance away your robot is from a wall, an object, um, that will be the corresponding power. So right now, if we're really far away from a wall, the, the robot will drive really quickly. And if it gets closer and closer and closer, it'll slow down. So as you get closer to the wall, it'll gradually slow down. However, we want it to eventually get out of this loop. So we're going to control the loop, the loop with a sensor. And that sensor will be the ultrasonic sensor. So once the robot gets, um, we're going to switch it to centimeters, how we had it before, less than 10 centimeters away, um, this program will exit out of the, the loop and the robot will stop moving. So that's pretty much how you power a robot with an ultrasonic sensor and how you can gradually slow down that robot with the ultrasonic sensor data. And now we're just going to show you a quick video of that robot working in action.